hello there so today is wednesday march 3rd we are working from home today but before that i oh shit <laughs> um i like to work in the loft when i'm working from home just to like get out of the basement but i honestly do have to go in the basement because i got some orders to do also so we are working from home slash working from home why did no one tell me that there was a duncan facebook group that is litty okay and side note my duncan app has been like glitching out i don't know what has been wrong with this so i finally took the time to update it and make sure like everything was working everything went through finally did so the combination of the duncan app update and the duncan facebook group why did no one tell me that there was cold foam okay i didn't know this I don't think I don't think I knew this so I picked it up with the app it was no no you didn't have to have the app it was three dollars uh, for a cold brew and you guys know that they exclude cold brew on a lot of specials so I was excited when this was included so I'm gonna try it I haven't I drove all the way home without drinking it I wanted to so bad um, there's no straw that comes with it the foam is kind of like starting to melt but that's okay I'm not like a big whipped cream person but cold foam sounds better for some reason so i'm gonna test it right now that tastes very good it's very adult i don't know why i tried to put my mouth over the whole hole <laughs> calm down right that is really good i couldn't get energy cold brew and still have the um the three dollar deal it would be an extra you know dollar for the for the espresso shot but i'm digging it i didn't get the charlie d'amelio thing either oh and in here instead of sugar it's liquid sugar so that's a hack i think that's why it tastes a little different to me get more of the coffee flavor because the liquid sugar is lighter and it's more evenly dispersed rather than the regular cane sugar kind of just like settles i like it so i'm going to see what's on tv for some background noise i do plan to um to like i said work on some orders also today i just got back from dropping elijah off at school that's why i, I dropped him off just like this hello have a good day and then, yeah, I'll take you guys in the basement with me as I work on some of your orders. I just wanted to taste test the cold foam on camera with you guys. So, 10 out of 10, do recommend. I'll put the um, the Duncan group right here on the screen for the Facebook group. Y'all, it is lit. I took a picture, didn't I? <gasps> yeah, I took a picture in the car. And I'm going to go post it over there. So, if you see me in the Duncan group... Just come say hey and, and mind your business. Just mind your business. <laughs> Three different sizes here i got them separated so next step is lamination
the finished product. I, this is about four, maybe five orders right now. I have to look at my uh, packing slips and see. But then once I'm done here, then I pull the invoices. I see who ordered what, of course, and if they wanted them hold punch. I quality check them one more time. Sometimes they need to go through the laminator, and I'll run them through just um, for a final seal. That happens mostly on the Hobo Week styles, but once I run them through one more time, like by themselves, they're, you know, they're sealed tight. So um, I'm going to quality check these, get some shipping labels printed, put some freebies in. We got a lot to choose from. This is my, this is a tripod you guys were on. I have it linked down below. And then this light I just use. Um, if, oh, sorry, I'm watching Naked and Afraid, so hopefully I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> but these lights I just use um, when I'm down here late at night and I need to see and I need like some extra light on this area because as you can see, it's a very shadowy. So yeah, let me get these packaged up, check my actual work emails and uh, see what's cracking. and go get Elijah and then I remember that I never close out the vlog so that's why I got my coat and my hair on you know so um I'm about to go out and pick him up from school oh but I did want to show y'all this one thing and I told him I told Elijah that I would show y'all before I had to show y'all before he got it so in I checked the mail this is my little corner right I checked the mail and in the mail was this envelope and it had like this cut out with this money in it so i was like oh that's not real money they just did that for to get you to open the envelope right i took it out why is it two real dollars like sent in the mail let me see what company this is i don't want to show my address with this with a dollar nielsen t i don't even know what they're doing besides sending like real money in envelope. I'm uh, gonna give this to Elijah. I told him though I had to vlog it before I gave it to him. But isn't that crazy? They're crisp, new, like they're real, like real paper, real money paper, and everything. So that was sus. I was just gonna throw it away, and Elijah was like, "No." I was like, "Yeah, let me see." 
I'm like, this is fake anyway. And he did a report on George Washington. Oh, I'm putting the money back, but I don't need to. He did a report on George Washington. And I was like, oh, this will be cute, fake money to give out, you know, for, you know, for a prop for your George Washington thing. Like, give it to the teacher or the student, the first two students. I took the pictures out and it was real. I said, oh, no, no, we're keeping this. He's like, can I have it? I was like, fine. I gotta vlog it first. <laughs> Let me know what's the craziest thing that you've ever gotten in the mail. Because that, that is pretty out of the ordinary. I don't know. My grandmama always taught me, or is that common sense, that you just don't send money in the mail, you know? But, yeah. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Thank you to these lovely people that I have listed right here for being a part of today's vlog. I finished you guys' um, orders on today's vlog, so I couldn't have a studio vlog without you guys. So thank you so much for your order. And I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.